Hi guys, my name is Shell Bernard. Thank you for tuning into my video today. I really appreciate it. Uh, this has been a very challenging one for me. I decided to explore Cherie's social judgment involvement approach, also known as the social judgment theory. Now we've learned that the social judgment theory is the perception and the evaluation of an idea by comparing it with current attitudes. So it's important to understand this theory because it explains the role we play in choosing what responses we agree with and which responses we disagree with. So we need to know the location of the statements or response in latitude. And when I say that latitude, we naturally judge what someone says and it falls on our own cognitive map. And our cognitive map has three latitudes. What we as individuals feel is acceptable, that is our latitude of acceptance. It's reasonable. It's worth considering. Our second latitude is latitude of rejection. It's unacceptable. It does not resonate with us at all. And then our neutral one is the latitude of non-commitment. It, it doesn't sway us one way or the other. Um, and this is just pretty much an example here. So if someone makes a statement and we like it, it's going to fall into our latitude of acceptance. Um, it's something that we're comfortable with and we agree with it. And then you have your latitude of non-commitment. That's where it doesn't sway you one way or the other. And there's not much of an opinion that you have about it. But then there's your latitude of rejection. It really goes against all of your norms. It's just not something that you're with. Um, it's immediately you reject it. So pretty much, in, in other words, if there's a statement or a message, both verbally and non-verbally, you may place it anywhere on your cognitive map. And again, we immediately judge something. Um, the minute someone says something, it goes into one of these three categories here. This is our cognitive map to every response that we get or every statement um, that we hear. Now, with the social judgment theory, um, it's broken down into a two-part mental process that is triggered when a person hears a message. So the first step involves individuals hearing or reading the message and immediately evaluating where the message falls within their own position. Again, their cognitive map. Okay. Now, this is also the judgment phase where either contrast or assimilation takes place. Now, contrast happens when people judge, mess excuse me, people judge messages that fall within their latitude of rejection, okay? Their latitude of rejection. And then assimilation is the perceptual area when people judge messages that fall within their latitude of acceptance as less discrepant. You know, there's uh, less of a discrepancy uh, within their views. Okay, and then the second step involves individuals adjusting their particular attitude either towards or away from the message they heard. Now I'll give you a couple examples here. You know, let's say you're a child in a household and mom says, go mow the lawn. Immediately, um, that's going to fall towards your level of your, excuse me, your latitude of rejection. You don't want to mow the lawn. But if mom says, you know what, if you mow the lawn, I'll give you $5. I'll, I'll pay you, you know, let's say you're like a six-year-old kid. Well, slowly you become, you start thinking about it. And you say, okay, it, it comes from your latitude of rejection, but you slowly, because there is no reward in the end, which is $5 or a trip anywhere, it, it slowly moves over to your latitude of acceptance. Now it's it's worthy of you know you you actually going outside and mowing the lawn. It makes sense to you. You're getting something, um, getting a reward, getting money is something that you accept. So it slowly moves from your latitude of rejection to your latitude of acceptance. So with all with this scale, just because some a person makes a statement doesn't mean it's going to stay uh, whether you dislike it or like it. Okay, so it can travel up and down this cog this cognitive map. So just kind of keep that in mind with your responses. Um, I'm a bartender at night uh, outside of my 
regular job and I did my research uh, project on that uh, in within our paper and pretty much bartenders were viewed as the people who uh, keep customers coming back. We are held to a higher standard compared to your waiters or your hosts. You know, we keep the place alive. We are the ones making the drinks. We make the patrons happy. And so bartenders view themselves as the the gods of a bar. And so I, I did mine where I would write uh, different statements. Uh, bartenders should not have to uh, clean up. We should have a clean up crew. Bartenders should not have to wear uniforms. And other value statements that I use were bartenders uh, should uh, help out with everything. They should be in uniform. So as a bartender, I am going to sway more towards not wearing a uniform, not having to clean so much because that's where my latitude of acceptance is. That resonates with me more. Whereas a bar manager is going to want everyone to be treated the same. So the statements, uh, bartenders need to all wear the same clothes, they all need to clean, it's going to resonate with her more. So that's her latitude of acceptance. Um, and that's pretty much the scale uh, that we work with. And it's just kind of in a business like that coming to an agreement. So learning about this theory has uh, tremendously helped me. Now, it wasn't easy uh, at first uh, trying to, to get into this. But the reason why I chose this theory was most of the time, both in my day job and night job, I typically say, don't judge me. That is my phrase because I'm always doing something that's worth judging. And learning about this just made me realize that regardless of anything that I do or say, you know, someone is going to judge. It's going to be somewhere on their cognitive map. And whatever I say or do is going to be something that's going to be in their latitude of acceptance or latitude of rejection or latitude of non-commitment where it doesn't affect them either way. So it's very interesting uh, to learn about this. And this is pretty much a very straightforward theory. Again, everything falls on your cognitive map. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for viewing my video. And I look forward to watching all of you guys. Thank you again. My name is Shel Bernard. And hope everyone passes this class. Thank you.